Alright, today we're going to review the game Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube. Okay, so Luigi won a contest to win a free mansion. And Mario Whee! said Mario said that he would meet him there, so Luigi's just walking. La 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 la. The map says his mansion's right here. And then he finds this ugly thing in its place. So it is his mansion. But nothing in the contest rules stated that it was haunted. Here we go. I do like that door though. So once Luigi enters the mansion, you find it oh it looks like this. The first door you have to come to is in here. But it's locked. And then you hear scary ghosts say something. So then you go up here. And then you see something floating with a key. That's a ghost. And that keys to the room that he flies mm -hmm. into. And he leaves the key, which is to that door. Which behind. is pretty stupid. Yeah, and, he's, but he's not a very good holder. Yeah. It's a little clumsy. So you have to follow that dot. And this part is hilarious when I open that door. Trust me. Yes. I beat this game 12 times, like I already said. Yep. So once you get the key to the door and open it. You're walking. And then you find a ghost. And then all of a sudden, you meet this old man, which is the professor. The Professor E. Gadget. Pretty much is the only guy that will be nice to you in this game. But he's still so old. Besides toads. So then, the professor takes you back to his lab. Just skip all this crap. He doesn't, doesn't ever say anything important. He decides. He mumbles like a So pretty yeah, much. Yeah, listen very closely. See, he talks stupidly. You should hear him when he talks in the bathroom. He says, whoop, whoop. "We're probably gonna film that part, so keep your ears open once we get into the bathroom." Now you're in the trading room where he teaches you to use his vacuum 3000. But be careful, you need to use your flashlight and you just have to frig around in here as much as you want. E eject dust if you want and that starts. Turns off the lights and goes to appear through all those five holes. But remember, put, shine your light on them. And then at, suck them up. Yes. Once they show their hearts. The controls for this are so easy. You use the joystick to move. You press A to call it for Mario or to open doors. You'll hold R to s activate your vacuum. You press B to turn off your flashlight. As and you can see, that ghost had ten yep. lives. What do you add? You just when you're sucking up ghosts, you just hold the C stick back to make sure they don't drag you along. But don't shine your light on them too long, or they'll disappear. Or at the very tip of the light, or also will disappear automatically, and you won't get a good score on this. Yeah, and We're that shows say you suck. This. So as you're walking to the door you need to go, you get a call from the professor that in his gallery, all the May boss ghosts has escaped, and you have to go catch them and put them back in their pictures. And there's three boss ghosts around here, but see this trail of coins? Leads to this door, it's, it's fake. fake. So don't hit it. This is the right door. And like, see this old man once you turn your flashlight off? Once you look at him, he'll leave. The boat, boats are flying at you. He's a boss. Wait till he yawns, and he's a boss. Each boss has 100 lives. Besides the last one, which has 500. I know a big difference. Well, he's the last boss. What do you expect? So you have to he suck it up. pretty easy for me. Mr. Braggy Pads. Yeah. What? Just saying. So, pretty much, this guy's really easy. Then every time you beat a room, you find a box. Normally, it contains a key. Yep. So, to go to the next boss ghost. In that room. To the store. 
Make sure. So, as I told you, there's fake doors. This is what happens if you go through one. And you'll lose 10 lives. So, make sure you always check your poor Game Boy Advance or whatever. Here's another boss. The next one after that um, first one we showed you. See, she's a girl. This is pretty much like a family trail of bosses. And I just suck, suck her up after opening the curtain. Each boss has a catch. Yeah, there's always different ways to beat one. Wait right until you see the next one. God, does he ever have a lot. That was pretty easy. Yes. Pe bosses like this are very easy to suck up at once, in one go. If you're wondering what the egg stuff is, it's, it's like all that money, so pick them up after you beat them. Now here's the last ghost in this area, the boss ghost. As you can see, it's crying because it's a baby. Okay, let's see what happens. It's one year old. Okay, time to go see the baby. As you can see, he's in his crib. To wake him up, you have to rock his little chair. But he wants to play. Yes. But, careful, uh, don't let him trick you. It's a dangerous play. So suck the ball, make it get stuck, and shoot it at his face, which is very nice. Get away from me, you freak. Then he has a spaz. Makes this go small, and then you have to fight him. Let's watch. In his crib. Like this. Yeah, whenever it's, uh... When, whenever it's the end of an area, boss, it will have a bunch of that uh, purple sky around. Yep. You know, it changes colors. Creepy. Okay, since this game is really long, I'll just show you some pictures of some of the bosses you'll fight, and then the final boss battle. And then you finally get to the last boss battle, which is unbelievably hard. That looks like Bowser, but it's really King Boo and a Bowser robot. All you have to do is get those balls, then King Boo will pop up. And do you think that's it? You just have to suck him up? Well, then you're unbelievably wrong. There's also the Bowser able to float around shooting these ice balls at you. If they hit you, you get frozen, like that, and then you lose health rapidly. Then eventually the Bowser will go back on. So pretty much, after you beat him, you get this. Go. So then you get this. Bowser's head gets backwards, and he'll walk around like an idiot. That mushroom. There, now he's back to normal. Now, then you have to suck, suck up those balls and hit him with it, so then King Boo will pop up. And avoid the fire. And then, as an end result, you'll see what you get. When you beat the game, you get that. And Bowser pretty much gets destroyed.